Hi guys, welcome back. It's Thursday, so I'm back with another video. If you're new here, my name is Melissa Crafter and I create custom epoxy free tumblers along with other crafts. In this week's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this wedding welcome sign using an acrylic sheet. So if that's something that you're interested in, please continue watching. And as always, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask down in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I do upload a new video every Thursday. Really quick, I wanted to show you guys where I got my easel from. The one I purchased, I purchased it inside of a Hobby Lobby store. And it's this one right here. Here's the SKU if anybody wants to check it out. When I purchased mine, it was 50% off, so it was $12.49. It does have bad reviews. A lot of the reviews mention that it is hard to put together and the instructions aren't very clear, which I totally agree. It was a little bit difficult to put together. After a while, I was able to put it together and it was used for an outside wedding, so I can say that it was very sturdy. Here is another option. This one here is from Michaels. It looks very similar to the one that I got at Hobby Lobby, if not identical. This one here is more of a brown type wood and I know they have also a black one. And the price is similar to what I got it at Hobby Lobby for. Any of these would work for the welcome sign. Um, I'll also link these down below. And I'll also put down some Amazon options in the video description. So here's the acrylic sheets that I use. I did purchase this one at Home Depot. Here is the name of the brand. And it is a 20 by 32 sheet. I like these because they are UV and shatter resistant. They also come with this protective film on both sides, that way it doesn't get scratched up. I'll go ahead and link it down in the video description along with everything else that I use in this video. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and remove that protective film from the first side where I'm going to add my wording. So I'm going to go ahead and work on my design. Here I already have it made, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I made it. So here's my wording. I'm going to have welcome to the wedding of and then the names and then the date of the wedding underneath. I did insert a square here the size of my actual acrylic sheet. That way I can more or less see how it's going to turn out. So I went ahead and inserted a shape on the left hand side. I inserted a square and I resized it to 32 by 20 which is the size of my acrylic sheet. I did change the color of the now rectangle to white that way I can see better. And I'm just using this as a guide to show me how my design's going to look. And then I did purchase this SVG file from Etsy. The shop name is called Roxy SVG and it was $3.99. I am going to be using just the welcome part of this SVG. Once I bought it, I did go ahead and download it to my computer. And here I'm going to go ahead and upload it onto my canvas. So here I have the design on design space. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the to our wedding part. So here on the right hand side where it says ungroup, I'm going to go ahead and click that and then take off the to our wedding part and just keep the welcome part of this SVG. So now that I have the welcome, I'm going to go ahead and add to the wedding of and the font that I'm going to be using for that is Times New Roman. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and insert a text again and add the names. The font that I used for the names is called Leisure Script and I did also purchase this font from Etsy. Right now I'm not too worried about the sizing. I'm going to go ahead and fix the sizing a little bit later on. So now I'm going to go ahead and insert that last part which is the date and I'm going to use the font Times New Roman as well for the date. So here I'm going to go ahead and start playing around with the sizing. 
You can size this depending on how big your acrylic sheet is, depending on how big you want it. So here I'm playing around with the sizing and for the welcome, I am going to resize the width to 22 inches. That way I can have a five and five inches on each side of the acrylic sign and have that welcome part in the middle. And then for the names, I did resize it to 14 inches for the width. That way it can also line up in the middle with seven inches on each side of the acrylic sheet. So I resized the font for to the wedding of and the date to 36 um, for the font size. And then to center them, I went ahead and placed each one um, on top of the welcome sign. And then I went ahead and highlighted both of them and clicked on the top where it says align and click on centered and then just dragged it down using the downward arrow on my computer. That way they all stayed aligned in the center. So here I'm doing some last minute resizing. I'm gonna go ahead and select my entire design and resize it to 22 by 14. That way it'll align perfectly in the middle of my acrylic sheet. And this is going to cut separate. The welcome is going to cut separately from the rest of the design. Just because Cricut Design Space only allows you to cut a certain size before it gives you an error message. So I'm going to go ahead and weld that bottom part from to the wedding of and then the names and the date. Um, I'm going to weld it on the right hand corner. That way it'll all cut together. If I was to weld the entire design together, it'll give me that error message here. I'm going to show you guys if I weld it together to make one whole cut, it'll give you that error message saying that the design is too big. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut it into two pieces um, from the welcome being one piece and then to the wedding of being another piece. So here's the vinyl that I'm going to be using. It is Cricut vinyl and it is a permanent glossy textured metallic vinyl. They have different options for this textured vinyl. This one here is the gold one. So here is my Cricut Explore Air 2 cutting out my design. So now that I have my design cut out, I'm going to go ahead and weed the design out using some weeding tools. Now that I have my design, I'm going to go ahead and add it onto my acrylic sheet. Here I used a Sharpie to do little lines to kind of guide me on where I'm going to place my design. To do the lines, I used a measuring tape. I'm going to do three inches from the top and the bottom and then five inches on each side for the welcome part of the sign. And then I'm also doing seven inches on each side for the rest of the sign. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit of alcohol and just kind of clean the area. That way my vinyl will adhere well onto my acrylic sheet here. Now that that's clean, I'm gonna go ahead and let it air dry just for a couple seconds. And then I'm going to go ahead and first add the welcome part of the design. To do that, I'm gonna go ahead and take some Cricut transfer tape and add it on top of my decal.
So now I'm going to go ahead and take some parchment paper and I'm going to remove the backing off my design here. Once I have the backing removed, I'm going to go ahead and put it down on the parchment paper. It won't stick onto the parchment paper. I am going to fold down the parchment paper. That way a piece of my transfer tape is a little bit exposed. And this is just going to help me line it up. I'm going to be wiggling out my parchment paper here as I adhere my design onto my acrylic sheet. Now that I have that adhered onto my acrylic sheet, I'm going to go ahead and lift up the transfer tape. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the rest of my design. I'm going to go ahead and add some transfer tape onto my design. Now that I have my transfer tape on, I'm going to go ahead and remove the backing of the vinyl. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my parchment paper and put my design down on my parchment paper. Again, it won't stick onto your parchment paper. The parchment paper just gives you somewhere to place your design down on while you play around with the placement. I am going to cut this down just so that I can see more of where I want to place it. And since the parchment paper is a bit see-through, you can kind of see exactly where you will be placing down the design on, on your acrylic sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up with the little dots that I did with my Sharpie. And then I'm going to go ahead, once that is exactly where I want it, I'm going to use my my scraper tool to go ahead and make sure that's well adhered onto my acrylic sheet. And then I'm now going to go ahead and just remove the transfer tape. So here is my design placed on my acrylic sheet and I am going to go ahead and just go in with a little bit of alcohol to remove those sharpie marks. And then now I'm just going to go ahead and remove that protective film from the back part of my acrylic sheet so that I can add my white background. So here's what the sign looks like without the white background or any color background. I've seen people leave it as is like this. I like how it looks like this as well. Um, but for the purpose of this one, I am going to be adding a white background on the back. Add the white background, I am going to be using acrylic paint. This one is from Arted Slavs from Michaels and the color is called Titanium White. To add the paint, I'm going to be using a big flat brush. It is a 3 inch flat brush here that I'm going to be using. Um, I don't remember where I purchased it from but I will look and I will link it down below in the video description. So I'm going to go ahead and begin adding my acrylic paint onto the back of my acrylic sheet. I'm kind of going in diagonally back and forth to kind of give that brushed on effect where it's kind of smeared onto the back of the acrylic sheet. There's many different ways to do this. I've seen people just completely um, add just white paint or whatever color paint on the back to cover the entire backing, which look, also looks good. I've seen people use a sponge to add the acrylic paint onto the back of the acrylic sheet, and that looks um, good as well. It just kind of depends on the look that you're going for or that your customer or whoever it is that you're making this for asks for.
So here I just turned around my acrylic sheet just to kind of see how it's turning out and then I'm gonna go in and just add where I feel like it needs a little bit more. So here is how my welcome wedding sign turned out. I absolutely love how it turned out and it adds such a nice touch to a wedding. This can be done for weddings, baby showers, gender reveals, any type of event. I made this for a family member, but these also sell really great for events. And you can easily ship these out since they don't shatter. That is it for this video, you guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask down in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is melissacrafter00. Thank you guys so much for watching.